Hi guys, today I bring you the recipe of my Dominican beans. Everybody makes the beans differently, but as far as people tell me, they are pretty good. So do you want to know how I make my beans? Ven y hazlo con su. The first step I do is I pre-cook my beans. I put them in a pot of water. These are two pounds of beans. I do not soak them overnight. I just uh, pre-cook them until they are like three quarters of a way done. When I touch one of the grains and they are soft, but they are not, they do not come apart. So um, when they are at this point, then I just pack them. This is basically like when you buy them in the can, this is what you're going to get in the can. This is just basically letting the beans boil for like about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, this is just optional. If you want to buy them out of the can, go ahead and do it. But I just do this to save time and money and I just do like a couple of batches all at once. When you are ready to cook your beans, this is how I make mine. I just refry all of these ingredients in a little bit of oil. All the ingredients will be down in the description box as well. If you don't want to use all of these ingredients, uh, you could just use the sofrito. Uh, basically, the sofrito has all of these ingredients already in it. And just add a little bit more sofrito than the one that I put here. And if you don't have the sofrito, just make sure all of these ingredients are in there as well. So what I will do if I'm only using the sofrito, I will just make sure I will have more garlic and also cilantro because cilantro gives it that special touch and I just love cilantro. I do, this is totally optional, I add pumpkin. I buy this type of pumpkin, I don't know what the name is, and I just usually uh, peel it, cut it in pieces and bag it in the freezer and I add about four pieces of the pumpkin to the in, to the ingredients and just mix it. Then you take the beans that you bring out, out of the freezer like I said when I uh, pack my beans I put them in the freezer. You don't need to um, unfreeze it because it will defreeze as, as it's cooking and the same container that you have the beans just add one more of that of water and just let it boil. Once you see the beans defreeze, then uh, you let it boil about five more minutes just for all the flavors to come together. And I do not like, and nobody in my house likes these seasonings on the beans. So what I do is I just take them out. The bigger you cut them, the better and the easier it will be to take out. Um, so... I take them out and I blend it. Once I blend it with a little bit of the same liquid of the beans, I add it back to the beans and I add, you know, just clean the glass of the blender with a little bit of water. And uh, I blend everything, including the pieces of pumpkin that you'll find inside. Now, this is my secret for my beans. I add one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of white vinegar. I usually measure with the same cap of the vinegar because this is the same as one teaspoon. And one teaspoon of oregano. So once you add these three things, one teaspoon of each, sugar, vinegar and oregano that's the little touch that your beans will need then you just adjust whatever if it needs more salt you just adjust it and just let it boil a little bit more 
until it gets like a little thicker consistency and your beans will be done. Like I said in the beginning, everybody has their way of making their beans. This is the way I make mine. I choose to use both uh, ways to put the seasonings as well as my sofrito, but you could do it either way that you want. Um, I probably will do a video of how to do it only with the sofrito to show you. You can pair your beans with basically any type of rice. I really hope that you decide to make them and please let me know how you did. And if you like this video, please give me thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook on Aslo Consu. Thank you. Bye. Make your beans.